Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I am very well, thank you. In today's video, I am very excited to be journaling in my Disney journal again and I have very nearly finished this one so I am excited to be adding a couple more pages. I think I literally have three pages left or four pages left so I will definitely be doing a little flip through of this journal soon which I'm quite excited about and it's all Disney themed so fun. <laughs> so uh, to continue with the Disney theme today I am drawing the Casa Madrigal which if you have seen the movie Encanto you will know that that is the magical beautiful house from the movie and as soon as I saw this house I was immediately inspired to draw it. Obviously it's very colourful and magical. Um, I just love buildings in general but what I liked a lot about this building was it had lots of little things like jutting out from the building and lots of really interesting shapes and colors um, and obviously we have all the different rooms from the family members and they're all different colors so I thought what an interesting house to draw um, so for this one I have just I basically just pulled up a picture of the house um, I think it was actually from the movie poster. So the house in the movie is a little bit uh, more like long ways, but this one is taller. So I, I don't know if they altered it for the movie or because I know the house does change. If you've seen the film, it changes throughout the film a little bit. So it might be um, one of the variations of the house. <laughs> anyway, it's a little bit taller. Um, so that's the house that I'm drawing today. So first of all, I am using the same paints that I used last week, which are the Holbein Artist Gouache, the summer set that they came out with that was limited to Japan. So those are the colors that I'm using today. I think at the end as well, I do use a little bit of Posca paints as well um, and some gel pens and some Tombow markers. So that is everything that I've used on this. So first of all, I'm doing like a flat lay of color. So nothing overly detailed. So I'm just looking up at the the picture reference that I have and just copying the photo, the colors from the photo. And obviously they are going to be a lot darker, deeper, more vibrant. So starting off with the flat lay color, it doesn't have to be exact. I think I just like to layer and layer and layer the colors on top. So I start with the lighter green, as you can see, and the purple, like the lilac color, but I know that I'm going to add shadow on top of that which will darken the colour overall. Um, so I also wanted to put in the colours as well in the window. So I added some bright colours as well like orange and yellow. And for the background I wanted it to be um, kind of blurry so the house actually stands out from the background. But also again if you've seen the movie then you will know that the whole movie itself is very very colorful um so i definitely wanted that to come across it it seems that everywhere you look the the picture is just full of life and full of color and i really really enjoyed that about the movie it definitely is a great inspiration for artists i find um and i really would like to get my hands on the art of uh, Encanto. Did I even say the name of the movie? I did, I must have. Um, <laughs> I think I did. I know I said the name of the house. Um, but anyway, I would really like to get the, the art book for this this movie because it was it must have been amazing to actually do the research uh, for the film and come up with the concept art as well. It must be it must be really amazing to look at. So I'm quite excited about that. So not only was the movie visually very pleasing to the eyes, but also the characters were just so inspiring to me and really fun and colourful. Um, so some of my favourite characters was obviously Mirabelle. She's great as a, as a lead character. I love her outfit as well. And I also couldn't get over the details of her outfit they just looked amazing like the actual um embroidery on her outfit just looked beautiful um 
I love Louisa and Antonio, so cute, and Dolores, and I really liked uh, Isabella's character too, um, with all the flowers, it was really amazing. Oh, and obviously Bruno. <laughs> Everyone seems to like Bruno. So, fun fact about Bruno, which my friend told me, there was actually an Easter egg in Luca for Bruno. Um, we don't talk about Bruno, but you might know it as Silencio Bruno if you watched Luca. So apparently that was a little Easter egg that was put there. Um, <laughs> so then we knew the next movie had this Bruno character. But I didn't pick up on that, actually. My friend told me that. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, <laughs> so anyway, coming to the end of my painting now, if you've been watching along, you can see that I've just been layering and layering and layering, um, which I think when I've sped it up, it actually looks quite interesting to watch it like this, just the layers and layers and layers. And I finally finish with the Posca pens and add a bit more bright colors. I added some clouds, I added shadows and highlights. I even added some of the little butterflies there as well. And, um, this is always my favorite part of finishing something off. It, I don't feel like it's fully finished until you add these like pops of color and highlights. And that is it. So this is my gouache painted house from the movie Encanto. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just want to draw the house in all sorts of different ways now. Um, <laughs> maybe like a kooky version as well. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again next Sunday with a brand new video. Take care everybody. Bye!